Hello, this is Frank Taylor with the Google Earth blog, and I want to show you a number of tools that are available for, for tracking storms. Right now we have Hurricane Dean in the Caribbean Sea, and it's just past Jamaica. You can see here its current position, and this tool is showing you the track of the storm and its forecasted path. Next we're turning on, this is showing you the wind impact of the storm in its forecast as it's going to pass the Yucatan Peninsula. Now we're showing, pulling in a satellite view, and this satellite view, thanks to the power of Google Earth, is the most recent satellite view available for Hurricane Dean. And as you adjust your view, it automatically pulls in the highest resolution photo for that view. This is a visual satellite view of the storm. It's in the morning, so it's dark on the west side. And as you pull in closer, you get a higher resolution photo. Another thing you can do, um, this is an infrared view, but as we zoom out, I'm turning on something that's showing the real-time lightning strike data for this area, and you can see that the lightning bolts actually correspond to the storms you're seeing in the satellite view, because this is all being overlaid properly into Google Earth according to the position of each strike. Now we're not limited to just one type of satellite view. We have a number of tools available for Google Earth and you can pull in analysis and satellite photos from various sources like NOAA and the US Navy to show these storms with a lot of interesting analysis. At the end of this video you'll get a URL that shows you how to load all of this into Google Earth from a single link. This is sea surface temperature. Google Earth has a fantastic ability to pull in real-time information and overlay it into the Earth. And here's the URL to follow to get more information on these tools.